Hello, and welcome to this tutorial. In today's video we will go through how we wire up an encoder to a Schneider M221 PLC and how to make a simple program with it. Let's first go through the wiring of the encoder. First we will need 230 voltage AC to power up the PLC. Depending on if we use an NPN or a PNP encoder we will either need to connect 24 or 0 voltage DC to the COM terminal. The encoder I am using is an NPN encoder. This means it sends out 0 voltage signals from the phases. So in my case I will have to connect 24 voltage DC to my COM terminal. From the encoder I am using there are 4 wires. Two wires for the 24 and 0 voltage DC. Then two wires for the A and B phase. From the red and black cable I want to connect to the PLC's 24 and 0 voltage DC output terminal, which will give power to the encoder. And the A and B phase we can connect to any of the digital input terminals on the PLC. I will connect them to digital input 0 and 1. This is basically how we wire up an encoder to a PLC. Some encoders also have a Z phase. That phase will pulse once per revolution of the encoder. Now let's do the programming in Machine Expert Basic. First we want to click on high speed counters. Then we click on configuration on the first HSC0. Here we can choose which type of encoder we want to use. I will go for a single phase in this video. On the input tab we need to address which input terminals we use for our phases. I will just use my phase A on input 0.0. .0. Then we can set reflex outputs or thresholds if we want. I will activate them and make them count up once for every 600 respectively 1200 pulses it counts. 600 is equal to 1 revolution on my encoder. If we now go to the Programming tab we can see that we got two threshold events. We want to add new POU to both of them. I will add so for every time they trigger they should count up with the value one. If we now go to our main block and add a rung, then click on the function blocks button we can find the high speed counter block there. The input called IN is to activate the encoder. If it's not active it won't count up. And the input called S. That one will reset the encoder back to zero. I will make it so that if the encoder's value reach above 1500 it should reset itself. Now let's go online and test the program. First we have to activate memory bit 0 to start the block.
As you can see now once the encoder value hits 600 the first threshold get active. And the second one at 1200. And at 1500 the encoder reset itself. If we go to the threshold rung we can see that it counts up for every 600 or 1200. Thank you for watching this tutorial. If you liked the video give it a thumbs up and subscribe.